Okay, so this user, which you'll see in the screen right here, posted a comment uh, about what this was. He saw it in another of my videos, um, and I've been meaning to make a video of this for a while. I just got finished. Um, this is the Tungar um, rectifier slash diode that I'm working on. I still have to get it so it's um, vacuum sealed and has air gone in it, which I'm still figuring that out. That's going to be a big thing. Uh, but it's made out of a three-way light bulb. Uh, it goes all the way up to 300 watts. And then there's a base made out of tin. It's pretty messy looking, but it works. Um, I have to do some resolders right there. Um, and right here, because it's not too well sealed there. But otherwise, I think it'll hold. Um, Oops, thing's pretty fragile. So, I, th I forget, but I think the filament is the cathode, and the little piece of metal is the anode. I'm not sure. It might be switched or the other way around. I don't remember. Um, but what's supposed to happen is this is a Tungar filament from an overhead light bulb and it'll get hot and the electrons will pass to the metal plate. I don't know if it needs to be a certain type of metal. I just used tin because that's what I had and it was solderable. Um, so I don't know if it'll really work actually, but I at least want it to light up. So that's why I have to get it a, in a vacuum with the air gun. Um, and then these two wires there were the one filament um, leads and then one this wire here and there used to be another one I think which was the other three-way filament and then I added another one with just some hookup wire and there's the base and my little wires there I'm not exactly sure how to wire this up to make it work as a diode because I know usual diodes are like a resistor and they only have two leads this one has four so I got some thinking to do about that um, so if you have any ideas how to create a vacuum and add air gone into this that would be greatly appreciated um, so please rate, comment, and subscribe